It's the Full Force Movie News Burst, brought to you by General Joe's Reborn.com with me, Christopher McLeod, aka Diagnostic 80. Skydance Media have signed a multi year live action film slate deal with Apple Original Films. Well, it's been a while, but we have another interesting story emerging in the G.I. Joe movie world. Skydance Media, the company responsible for co-financing and co-producing the Transformers and G.I. Joe live-action movies for Paramount Pictures, have signed a multi-year live-action film slate deal with Apple Original Films in a possible move away from the big P. It marks the end of the long-running first-look deal David Ellison's production company had with Paramount Pictures, a partnership that centred around Hollywood tentpoles such as Mission Impossible, Transformers, Top Gun and Star Trek. The deal with Apple is non-exclusive though, meaning those franchises and their currently in production works like Top Gun Maverick and the next two Mission Impossible entries will continue on with Paramount in the meantime. Even though Skydance will still retain the rights to co-produce and co-finance the Transformers and G.I. Joe franchises, terms and details are a little unclear at this point. The move will likely necessitate a search for a new co-producer, which the Viacom subsidiary is probably in the process of right now. The last film Skydance Media worked on with Paramount for a Hasbro brand was Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins, which unfortunately was a financial flop, earning $40 million worldwide against a budget of $100 million. How this will affect the G.I. Joe and Transformers movie landscapes is unknown at this point. It might not have any considerable effect at all, but we shall monitor the goings-on at Paramount and any news that might surface of another attempt at a G.I. Joe cinematic universe, whether it's related to Snake Eyes or something completely different. It has gone very quiet in regards to the live-action TV series, which Skydance were also involved in, the proposed animation, and even the follow-up Joe movies that we knew were in development. Whatever the outcome, the brand is currently in a good place right now with multiple toy lines and merchandise galore, so it's not all bad. Here's hoping we start to hear more in regards to live action and animated series in the coming months, and like I said, we will be right there in order to report on it. Full Force. That's it for this instalment of the Full Force Movie News Burst. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. See you next time, and as always, Full Force. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos or enjoy exclusive bonus content then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast or click on the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in full force